Okay, so today we have to be practicing some English again because, you know, I use it in so many videos, this language, and I have to be really great at it, you know. And that's the reason I do this practice. I do this with Google Docs and with speech recognition software. Reading is important. Why is reading so important for you? Reading is important because it creates new connections in your mind. And you'll learn new words. You learn new ideas. And these ideas connect in new novel and creative ways in your mind. You might be able to connect and combine ideas from both fictional and non-fictional books and create something completely new, never seen before. And reading is your grit for the meal. Or how do you say that like when you're when you like you throw something into a machine that like uh, starts to assimilate and process the stuff. But the problem nowadays in the modern age is that there's not enough time to assimilate and process what you have just read. Do you understand what I mean over here? Is that reading is important, but if you just read and you don't think and you don't kind of give your mind that time to go over what you just read, then it won't, it won't get you the outcomes you kind of want. And that's why you deem that reading is not important. Reading with, reading brainlessly or reading mindlessly is not very very efficient maybe and you have to understand that the best books might not be the most entertaining books and the best books might not be the most fact-filled books because you usually would probably think that well, if it's just non-fictional, you know, stuff like the textbooks in school, that means that they are good and that will like give you some benefit in your mind. And it might, but you have to you have to understand that the best books are usually the books that get your mind going and don't just give you facts of like how a a anything is anything is you know it's about you and i feel i feel that the best books are about you you know they are they are about your life how to make it better okay so Okay, I'm gonna write over here. I remember reading this one book called I remember reading this one book called The Lean Startup. It was a book about forming a company, a startup company. And it was a great book. And I read it in a very specific way. I read it in silence in the library, even though it was my own book. And I wrote all the time. when I had read for a certain amount of time. 
And I think the book was foundational for the truth detective thing to happen. I got a lot out of it because it created so many new connections in my mind. You know, there it's it's written by this guy called Eric Rees, Eric Rees, you know, and he has written another book about, you know, entrepreneurship. And I, 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 I believe I should read that too. But it, it was it was a great book, you know, when when I when I read that book, you know, it kind of it really, really got my mind to a deep, like a great place, you know. But then again, it's years ago, it's like years ago. And it was just foundational work. And then I had this habit, you know, of actually, actually like uh, cycling, cycling uh, to the library and reading, you know, this was years ago, but reading and writing, you know, they had much, much better placement of the tables, you know, and they had this silent where you could like write and read in the silence, you know, it's much better than back then. And then the freaking uh, like the virus thing got all, like the people people started getting sick and that kind of stuff so they closed the closed the place down and i kind of had to like menu like take my life into a new direction and it was kind of shitty that you lost that opportunity to work in that way and i couldn't find couldn't find really anything equivalent to that anywhere else you know so it was a great book, uh, and I read. This is important. I read it in a very specific way. You know, I think that's that's also foundational. So if you if you really think think about this, so the next time you shop for books online, preferably, I want you to look. At not just if it's interesting, that's beside the point. The world is filled with people who know many facts about life. And I think you shouldn't read for knowledge. Well, like, what? Well, like, you shouldn't read for well knowledge. Yeah. You shouldn't read for knowledge, you should read for ideas, you know. You should read for ideas. Okay, reading for ideas. It's like breathing for, uh, breathing for ideas. It's kind of like, are you breathing for just to stay alive or are you breathing to do something with your life no no i don't know you should read for ideas that's why books are kind of important they're really important for your mind you know books are for your mind kind of like food is for your stomach you know it's it keeps you going you know that's why it's great to read just read read fucking read more Okay, so lately, though, I have been reading about investing and the stock market. It's a new thing for me, and I have been really trying to understand how it works, even though I'm not even interested in in the investing money in the stock market yeah so so can you kind of see how these two books are related the Lean Startup and the books I have read now about 
stock investing. They are all business books, but from a different kind of vantage point. The other, the other deals with forming a company and the other deals with owning shares in companies and the stock market. Like I'm trying to understand like why I'm reading about this subject. I'm reading because nowadays, you know, I most I mostly read I mostly read because of the authors that have written those books. And I'm I if I think about the reasons I read books, I read based on the authors, I read based on the recommendations of people I value and I read based on the cover art. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 really that's I read based on the cover art many times, but but um, I've been going through a lot of books from the actualized.org book list. I have talked about that before on my channel. It's a freaking amazing, you know, book list. You should look into it. Like most of the books I have, like I have reviewed most of the books on there, but there's still more, you know, I haven't read. It's a, it's a like, like you read those books, your life is going to change so fucking much. Like, holy shit. But uh, if I think about the reasons I read books, I read based on the authors, I read based on the recommendations of the people I value and read on the best. On, I, I read based on the cover art. Well, yeah, that's that's why I read. That's why I read. Or why I Choose the books I read. And of course, you know, I, I yeah, and of course, good reads recommendations, but I have had some luck with that, but also some not so great experiences. Overall, I think I have read great books. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was pretty funny. Today I was just looking at this one book called something like, like it was, it was about getting rich, you know, the book, but you know, it's some influential dude, you know, that owns this huge enterprise. And it was pretty funny in the picture in the cover art, the guy was sitting, sitting uh, with a suit and his tie was orange and his socks were also orange. I thought that I hadn't noticed that about the cover before and I kind of went like, man. I didn't, I didn't go that like, man, that stylish. I went just like, like, man, <laughs> because I wouldn't have done that. I don't know. Maybe that's the maybe that's the secret to getting rich. You know, maybe you should. Maybe you don't even have to buy the fucking thing. You know, uh, if you think about it, you know, can you give the basic? secret or the basic no not secret like the basic message through visual means without even saying anything to the person will this 
increase or decrease the likelihood of this person buying the product <laughs> like can you eat it without eating it you know so the analogy can you eat it without eating it understand what I mean then yeah then you can ask what is the product really about then is it about the idea can you deliver the whole idea through something so little for example the matching socks to the tie you know <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can. I have no idea. So, for example, now I bought I bought some new books. That wasn't one of the books I I bought. Uh, and when I think about them as a whole, they kind of. They can kind of be simplified into this. How do I feel about my life? What can I do for other lives? How can I get better in what I do? How can I understand people that are different from me better? So you un you understand that if like this is this is these are the basic questions, you know. I think this is this is kind of this is kind of isn't this what human life is like really all about or at least at least say at least what self development or life development is really all about I think so yeah I think so So how do I feel about my life You can ask questions like happy or depressed. What can I do for other lives? Harm or help? How can I get better at what I do? Well, here here's questions like methods and motivation. Am I missing something? Here's a great question. So you kind of start to understand understand my thought process over here. So if this is if this really is what life is all about, are you doing harm or are you doing great help for other lives? Uh, can I get better at what I do? Like, what are my methods and motivation? Uh, what are my methods and motivation? Am I motivated, you know? How do I feel about my life? If you're depressed, could it be related to, like, like you ask these questions, you could take it a little bit deeper. If I'm depressed, could it be related to the fact that I'm doing harm to other lives? Yeah, or what can I do for other lives, harm or help? 
Yeah, that's a great question. If I'm depressed, it could it be the rate of man? I'm going to harm. Yeah. So you should examine that, you know. Pretty, you know, deeply, even, you know. Uh, how can I get better at what I do? Well, yeah. For example, over here, uh, if if uh, you can ask, ask a question, if my videos make other people's lives better, then getting better at making my videos will help me to become uh, happier. Do you understand? So if I if I if I read a book that is about uh, how can I, I can how, how I can get better then it will contribute to my happiness if what I do is actually great you know it's actually good but if I, what I do is like bad and I try to get better at doing whatever might be bad you know you might how to be, how to become a better serial killer you know you could write that kind of book, like how to become the most excellent seri serial killer, you know. You could write that kind of book as a, as a like a joke, or maybe for real, I don't know. But if if what you are doing is kind of harmful, then getting better at it might not be making you that much happier, you know. So I feel that most... Uh, most depression that happens in the creatives is because of this and uh, yeah so I, I feel I feel that it's that if my yeah so you have to understand that your your paycheck doesn't tell you anything about this, you know. Uh, if we had happy dollars and if we had happy dollars and sad dollars, you would be able to understand why you are not feeling so great about your life because it would be more evident. But here, it's really hard to understand. So, we need a new money system. Well, no, but... So, what can I do, what can I do for other lives? Well, I bought one book that was named something like How to have confidence and power in dealing with, uh, in dealing with people. So... I bought one book that was named How to have confidence and power in dealing with people. And I've been thinking about buying that book for a long long time and now I now I got it. Now I got it and I think it was a great choice because because confidence is one of the most important things in human relationships, I think. Because it puts other people at ease, uh, you know. I think confidence is important in human relationships because it puts other people at ease. Uh, you know, you don't really, you don't really seek trustworthy people. You seek confident people. When you uh, say that you're not trustworthy, you really say that you're not confident. You know, you know. Do you get what I mean? I think you do. And getting better at making videos will help me to become a better person. Yeah. What can I do for other lives? Can I harm or can I help? I think confidence is important. Yeah. How can I get better at what I do? Well, yeah, we'll think about that. If you're unmotivated, it might be for the fact that you see that this is not helping anybody. 
If you are unmotivated, it might be for the fact that you do something that is not helping anybody. But you might also be motivated just out of negative things. It's like it's 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 not easy to be a human being, you know. So how can I understand the people that are different from me? How is this person different from me? How is this person the same as me? Well, the fact is that everybody is different from you. The fact is that everybody is different from you. You could write a book with that and with that title, you know. Everybody is different from you, you know. <sighs> Nobody is the same as you. <laughs> it would it would make any sense so how is this person the same as me if you break something apart you are bound to find the same kind of piece in the puzzle yeah you kind of understand this, but the problem problem with I think many people have is that they kind of try to be the same. Uh, if you think about if you think about like really like are you trying to be the same or are you embracing just being indifferent? What is because because is like is it is it about getting something? I don't know. I don't know. But this 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 uh, is mm, this is really really about when you think about confidence. Uh, is your con is confidence really about finding finding like embracing who you are? Is that confidence? I feel that confidence is is kind of the same as the weather, you know, it can kind of change based on the days, you know, it's not always so static, you know, some things can kind of affect it also. For example, if you put on the, the like the most if you put on the it's really hard to be confident when you put on like clothes that are really bad suited for you it's hard to be confident then do you get it well i don't know am i doing harm or help Can you be actually become conscious of like can you become conscious of this?
this is not the only reason why people are depressed by the way but it, it can have an effect okay And we can ask if my art is making other people's life better, then it might contribute to my own happiness. Or it might just be an outlet for my unhappiness. Yeah. Like, do you do you understand? Having an outlet for your unhappiness won't make you happy. But it can help you tolerate life. Yeah, so I think this is this is one of this is one of the one of the like the biggest biggest things about life. I actually get a, like, quite a lot of like positive feedback for my videos from people. But then again, I also 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 feel that some some people don't quite get it, you know. And it's fine, you know. There's so there's so many people you can you can kind of watch and watch and that kind of stuff, that kind of stuff. But this is kind of me trying to understand where I should where I should head next with this project. Then we have to ask this question. Is this what kind of lives are these lives? Human lives or animal lives? You know, you could even you could even you could even create a belief system based on making some spirit beings happy. Maybe you could even become happy if you believed enough in these beings and certain kind of rituals. Or any behavior that makes them happy. You know. Uh, then let's go to the psychology department. My happiness versus your happiness. Well, in the modern, modern society you can see that very many people are really addicted to their own pleasure, but really it's about my happiness uh, uh, like is kind of imp more important than even some other people's, you know, like basic survival. Like my, my pleasure is more important than your life, you know, that, that kind of stuff. Uh, and it's very it's it's very common but but i feel that it's fueled by this uh this not this basic uh not no understanding of how what you do uh affects other people this basic unconsciousness of your own actions you know on others uh, yeah 
it's when when a, when you're being a YouTuber, for example, you have to underst understand that people kind of choose to watch my videos. You know. Uh, let's 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 just make this make this pretty clear over here. When you're following a YouTuber, you don't have to follow that YouTuber. You are choosing to follow that YouTuber. So if the YouTuber's effect on your life is not positive, you shouldn't follow the YouTuber. But then again, you can you can say this that. In that situation, you take the responsibility of your own happiness for yourself and not give it to anybody else. I have said this, that you are responsible for your own happiness. So if the basic state of the viewer that starts to watch my videos is, for example, depressed, unmotivated and sad, maybe hopeless. And my videos give some of these qualities into their mind, then that's good. It might even lead to some positive action. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, the problem with teachers usually is that they have no they have no idea about they have no idea that actually this is this is the be this is the most important thing about teaching is this. Uh, they think that the most important thing about teaching is what you teach, but it's not what you teach. It's about um, it's about how you teach. You know, teaching is not about what you teach. It's about how you teach. You, you have noticed probably that most teachers don't have any style. You know. Uh, style is very hard to teach, but I, I have kind of tried to like teach style. But I know I I I I kind of realized that it's very hard thing to teach. But you learn it in arts and that kind of stuff. You learn you learn art no, it's style. But you know you under, you see that many people that have a, a huge amount of style, uh, they are really you know. They're usually pretty misfits, you know. Get it, it, it comes about when you try to get somewhere, you know. Teaching is not about what you teach, it's about how you teach it. So, your methods and motivation and the way the way you teach might not be so, you know. Might be not very motivating. The methods and motivation. Okay. Um, and what kind of teacher are you? I'm a math teacher. Well, you know, there's thousands of them, you know. Do you, want to, do you want to be another math teacher? I don't know. I I don't care about that. And 
you understand that a teacher can teach you a method. Teacher, a teacher can teach you a method of how to learn. That's that's re that's really that's that's really what the teacher is trying to do. When you 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 might think that the teacher is trying to teach you a skill. But really, he's trying to teach you how to learn to learn that skill. I remember this one online course named Learning How to Learn. And in that course, It was talked about Yeah, it was about learning how to learn. I don't know if I learned how to learn. Did I learn how to learn by going through that course? Or for example, when you think think about like this, what I'm doing right now, uh, you probably wouldn't be said in the like the school system that hey man, like in the Finlandia for example, hey man, you want to learn this English language or you want to learn any foreign language? How about you learn the basics and then start using this program and just become better at it? It's amazing. Gonna change your life. Well, they probably are not gonna tell you about it because they are not maybe conscious of it or they just think that ah, that won't work. I don't know. But the teacher is trying to teach you... The teacher is not trying to teach you even a skill. He's trying to teach you the method of how to learn. Then there are, but then there are learning difficulties and learning disabilities. It's such, it's such a, it's such a freaking, you know, you understand that when you have a stick and you are trying to make the stick into a rock, if you have a stick and you are trying to make the stick into a rock, it's going to be a pretty challenging thing. You know that a rock doesn't do anything, it just is there. But maybe, for example, stoners are not really rocks, they are just like rocks. Understand? This is a pretty deep insight, by the way. I'm a stone versus I'm a stoner, you know. I'm like a rock. I'm not a rock, you know. I'm not a rock, I'm like a rock, you know. Get it? So if you think about, for example, being poor. You're not poor, you are like poor, <laughs> you know. You are like that thing. In the same way that a painting is like... There's likeness in it, you know. In the same way, in a painting, the image depicted can be like something else, but that doesn't make it that thing. It's an image. Ah, get it. <laughs> so when when the next next time you meet a stoner that is kind of like a rock doing nothing, and you can just say that you are like a rock, but you're not a rock, <laughs> you know.
like man. Uh, like it's it's not innate in the human nature to be a rock, you know, but the human being can be like a rock, you know. It's like, but also the human being can be in some situations like, like some animal that runs and that kind of stuff. The human being can like bend into many things, but not to maybe everything get it so it might be that the human being the human being is the ultimate image maker so maybe the human being is the ultimate image maker but maybe only the artist realizes this to the deepest level that who you are is actually just an image that you have created. Like, for example, the truth detective. It's an, it's an image, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's an image. And the way it's, a, it's, it's an image, you know. Depicted can be something like something else. You can all you can also you can also kind of say that not the real thing. It's very it's very deep, you know, not the real thing. Hmm, really interesting. Because depression could be also come out, coming out of this. Depression can also come out of this. Depression can also come out of this. Living as an image. Not as the real thing. Hmm. That's a really great question about happiness, you know. There's a lot of greatness in this in this little thing I brought over here about three pages. Uh, you can you can say you can even say over here in this time this person is being like a rock but at some other time maybe in the future he might transform into a bird my time being like a bird is over You know, for example, singers, you know, they are like birds, but they are not birds, you know, they fly and they sing. 
if they're like popular, you know, they fly a lot from country to country on airplanes. I mean, they are like birds, but they are not birds, you know. This is one of the probably this might be one of the most important this might be one of the most important thing also in criminal psychology to understand. That I'm like a or we could say that that a really violent person is like some predator animal. But it's not actually that. Do you understand? So, so if we have an actor versus the real killer, psychopath you have to understand that the real is also an image that the person is depicting himself as maybe there's nothing as real as a real criminal do you understand what I mean? That when you have a when you are an, when you are acting as the villain, you are creating a double image. When you are acting as the villain, you are creating a double image out of yourself. Uh, like two levels up, two levels up from the. the real real thing and one level up from the real thing get it it's it's very deep you know this is who you are so at the moment if you are a stoner uh, an actor could play a stoner you know an actor could play a stoner on the movie screen without being a stoner he's like the real real thing when the stoner is the real thing and no no like no like when there's the real 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 and then there's the real and then there's the real real you know do you understand so this is you this is your image this is who you act as so when you think about true detective true detective is this you know the true detective is not this you know it's like a triple self you know you see this pyramidical structure and the and the tree, you know, it all, all starts with tree number three. So, for example, it's a kind of triple, triple kind of. It's when when you are when you are artist and you have the artist self. For example, a musician uh, is not an actor in that way. He's operating from this level, the real, real. But I feel that the truth with the truth detective I have taken it to the next level. It's the real real real, you know. The real 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 you. And the funny thing is that it's uh, with every time we uh, like go away from the real you. Uh, if you think about like depression, you know. So, some people say just be yourself, but 
usually they mean just be this, you know. They don't want you to be this, you know. That would be, you know, you would be a fucking Jesus or like Buddha, you know. And even Buddha wasn't, even Buddha had a real, real, you know. Buddha never had the real, 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 though. Very few people have had this, the real, real, real. It's, it's very, it's where it requires you to have the, it requires you to have some freaking, you know, like self-understanding to be the real, 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 you know. So, this is the real, you know, like, like uh, get it? It's, it's deep, it's deep. So, So, for example, when you think about computers, computers work, work like this. In the computers, there are APIs. Access. What, what, what does it mean? Like access. It's, it means that a certain program layer, a certain program layer can talk to the upper and the lower layer, but not more than that. Do you understand? Truth Detective is like an API for me to communicate with like human beings. <laughs> like that's that's how autistic I am, you know. That's how autistic I am. It's very autistic what I'm doing. So a certain program layer can talk to the upper and the lower layer, but no more than that. So the layers have to understand what is up and what is down. So the layers have to understand only what is up and what is down. I cannot make you understand the real you or the real me from my real real you. Or from my real real, I cannot make you understand the real me, you know. So I created the real 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 me. So you can understand this image, you know. I created this, to, so you, I created this, so you can understand this. You know, because I know that you won't understand this. This is too deep. So I created this. And then I created this, you know. Get it. A certain program layer can talk to the upper and the lower layer, but not more than that. So the layers have to understand only what is up and what is down. And in this way, even people who work on those layers don't have to understand. But only those that are upper than them and those that are lower than them. Nobody else. They have to understand. It's deep. It goes fucking deep. <laughs> it's deep. And it goes fucking deep, you know. Okay. It's one of the deepest things I have read and you know. If you break something apart, yeah, well, yeah, this, this is, this is, this is kind of just, this is kind of just, um, you could, you could divide the world in like this. If you have something that is a certain material and a certain color, then the color might be different, but the material is the same. Mm 
you might have something that is the same shape and the same texture but you wouldn't know it just from looking at it. Yeah. Yesterday I talked about conformity. Yesterday I talked about conformity. And I talked about how many different groups that are conforming around the different thing are still conforming in the same way. You see this round circle over here. I'm gonna explain this to you in this simple way that this is a circle. This program teaches me to click on the circle. Will this increase the likelihood of me clicking on some other circle on my computer? For example, to buy a Fedora hat. Think about that. It might. It's an association. It's an association. So shape is important. Do you notice that? Do you notice that on Apple products they shaped the icons very in a certain way. Rectangular rounded corners. And I read the book by what's the guy? Walter uh, Walter Isaacson. He has actually written a book about now about the Elon Musk. And I'm gonna read it at some point. I'm gonna get it. Uh, I would want it as a pocket book, maybe, maybe, you know, I saw it in the bookstore, it was something like 32 euros, that's not too bad, but I know he's a great writer, but in the Apple, the, the book that dealt with the Apple, you know, and Steve Jobs, it was funny how Steve Jobs insisted on that, on that, like, rounded corner shape for the icons, and I kind of start to understand why. Because when you click on some shape all the time, you start to like that shape for no reason. Think about how many cars have a circle, you know, as the I want you to choose the circle, you know, why, you know, like why did they use like in the, like in the Nazi flag, why did they use a circle, you know, you see that, why did they use a circle, well it's an association, but, but on the computer, you know, can we get this guy, can we get this guy to choose something by just You know, clicking on something that's the same shape. Maybe the same color. Who knows? My jacket is awfully like that color, you know? If you have seen me, like, if you have seen me in the real life, you have seen the jacket, maybe. It's awfully like that color. 
Do I like that color just on its own? Well, yeah, it's a pretty great color. If it works, that's that's the catch. It has to work. You might also start to dislike something because of that. You know. You might also start to like dislike something because of that. It's silent. That's good. It's loud. That's bad. You know. Well, a hat should be a circle, you know, it should be round, you know, that's just, just, that, that's just, that's just common sense, you know. <laughs> but if an Apple, Apple would like design, for example, you think about it, the Apple, like the earphones, they have rounded corners. They could have made them a complete circle, you know, like some headphones are. I actually bought headphones first. I actually bought headphones prior to the Fedora that were completely circular. And I was using this program, I think, at the time already. Think about that. Well, it's also related to the human body, of course. Some shapes are kind of, you know, they make more sense, you know, like, yeah. It's just, just common sense. So here we have triangle. Here we have a triangle. It's not really a triangle, it's more like a pair a set of stairs. Let's see this. Like this. Okay, then let, let, then let's talk about computers. If a computer doesn't understand a human being and the human being doesn't understand the com computer will call to assistance some artist that understands the computer oh yeah we could call an artist That's an idea. If a computer doesn't understand the human being and the human being doesn't understand the computer, we'll call to assist in some artist that understands the computer and this artist will make the computer do what it wants it to do. You understand, you understand that um, autists very rarely understand hmm, autistic males very rarely understand females. You know? And then you can say that well it's a free it's it's kind of yeah well you can say that females very rarely understand computers also but, but yeah it can happen if you're an artist yeah yeah but really it's not it's not about that it's that If you want to make something do something, you have to understand it. But 
that might not help you at all. Not understanding something is actually not evil. Have you ever thought about that? Do you deem that not understanding a language is evil? You get it? Like, do you get how deep this question is? Do you deem that not understanding something is not... Not understanding something is not actually evil? It's... It's not evil really, <laughs> you know, it's just that Yeah What might be evil is not even trying and because of not understanding like for example over here we talked about this so get gets really deep over here but if for example how is this person different from me i don't understand this person so if i kind of do harm for him that's not evil you know because of my lack of understanding but you might say that you might say that yeah i don't know Yeah, it can drive you to evil, but the like not understanding. I don't know, like, but we have to we have to just understand that. For example, here we are using a computer. I don't fully you fully understand computers, but uh, the you can you can kind of kind of also think over here. Is the computer starting to understand kind of what I'm going about over here? Is this computer increasing my understanding? And I feel that this also goes both ways, you know, that uh, females very rarely understand autistic males, you know. It's a pretty rare thing. But the problem problem over here is the is the problem over here is the like the setting that you don't you have to understand me I don't have to understand you but then again you can kind of make other people understand you if you learn the communication skills you know But then again, nobody understands themselves fully. Like I'm talking about this, the real, real, real you, the real, real you and the real you, you know. Do you understand how stairs are built to last? I don't. But I see the basic structure over here. For example, if you build the stairs like this, that you have double, 
the fall you know stairs usually have stairs like st stairs could be built so they don't have the even amount of fall in each step they could be built that way but they are not I don't know why, but that's just how it is. If they maybe they would be dangerous, you know, somebody would maybe have tried it. I don't know. Who knows? Like built these stairs that are like in the first part they are kind of you know just you know tiny increments, you know, higher and that kind of stuff, and then they go like more you know bigger bigger gaps you know who knows i don't know this is a really good insight nothing not understanding something is actually not evil But when you make understanding, but when you make not understanding a good thing, it might lead you to some problems. It's a very hard to understand file at the moment. Okay, here we talked about criminality and how how because there's in the prisons is this in the prisons isn't there this rehabilitation way what is it what it's called like things they do to kind of try to make those criminals behave in more society appropriate ways Attributing beingness to images. I had this said about me that you're the real thing. Well, yeah, the real, real, real. I feel that most people are kind of stuck over here. It doesn't work upwards and it doesn't work downwards, you know. It might also, it might also like in your life, it might manifest you're not understanding the 
upward level and the downward level would maybe manifest in your life as being stuck also in some job where you don't understand what is being done at the upper level and what is being done at the lower level. I believe that this kind of read the real real is kind of the level of the be the human being that is just doing his job you know that's kind of the real real life and this real life is kind of those people that you know the buddhist monks and this these people that devote their lives to this kind of stuff the real you it's kind of the buddhist monks and the 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 yogis and yeah the saints you know and not so saintly people but you know those those people and this is the people that kind of the work the householders and then we have this you know this kind of you know in main line then super race super race that truth detective is kind of trying to make you understand through integrating all these levels you know uh, it's a integrative thing the problem with this real real is that uh, this doesn't integrate the lower level uh, the real real does not integrate the lower that's why it doesn't love the lower level it, it's not conscious of it It's kind of like being in a boat and you don't realize that you are actually in ocean and if you get a hole in the boat you're gonna fucking die and sink you don't you are not conscious of that that's the real real life uh, it might manifest in your life as you know uh, if you want to be an envi environmental being on this planet Earth in any way you have to transcend the real real you know and you have to become the real or the real 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 you know but to become the real 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 you have to be here you have to understand this layer it's possible that the real real the real you cannot integ in integrate the real, real you. The integration has to happen always from the lower down, not from the upper, like not, not from the lower up. Let's uh, try to understand if you are if you are trying to fit something grand into something small, this fits into this, you know. This fits into this. And this fits into this, even though it's bigger, you know, it looks bigger, you know, but this is actually bigger than this, you know. This is small stuff. Small stuff. This is big, grand stuff. And this is even smaller stuff. It's precision optics over here. You know? So, this level cannot manifest in the human being if... The human being has not realized the real you and integrated the real real. So for this to happen, if you want to become like truth detective, for example, you have to go here, not here, you know. If this was like a pathway to the left and right, and the truth was like here, hey man, like the truth is here, not here. You only, you already know everything about this level, you know. 
all your life is this, you know, this is shit. Uh, and this is not where visionary stuff, you know, the real visionary stuff is over here when it comes into contact with this stuff. You need to find these people and you have to use that to integrate these layers. You have this probably down to very good level, you know. You don't have to work on this anymore, you know. You probably don't have to work on this stuff anymore. Just quit your fucking job. But, but really, you probably are, you know everything you can about this level. So you are going to this level and you are going to this level through this level, you have to understand. Okay, this level deals with this with like self-realization and this level deals with uh, self-actualization. You understand. You are taught to be this when you are this and you ought to be this, you know. You are taught to be this. You are this. You ought to be this. Do you get it? This is the basic structure of your human self and you have to... People, people input all kinds of content into this structure. Mainly to this structure. But this structure is completely rooted and completely like... I would say built upon this, you know. This is like, this is like immortality, you know, over here. This is immortality. And this is, this is, this is like, what, what is this even? This is like, this is like the wind. This is like the wind. And this, what is this then? Well, you want to leave a legacy? This is like the echo, you know, this is like the echo. What's a legacy? Well, it's an echo, you know. That's why these people don't leave an echo, because they are not like an echo, you know. <laughs> they are not like an echo because they are not, they don't leave an echo, they don't leave an echo because they are not like an echo, you know. So, this is like an echo, you know. Also an image. The real, real, real. Get it? Very deep stuff. Not to be taught at school. You would go mad with your level. No, I don't know. You might get it. Many people have. As a society, we have to find our new satisfaction in life, I think, from here and here. We have to really kind of minimize the... We have to really kind of rethink, like, what we are doing over here is getting too much... What we are doing over here is getting too much attention, maybe. Okay, then we are going to going to say that um, we we are going to say that this won't last. This might last, and this will last. Do you understand? Out of this, we are not sure, you know. 
you can't be sure. It might, you know. This won't. This will. So that's why we go here for the truth. You know, the truth is over here. We have we have a triple intersection. And on the right side you have the truth. On the left side you have the falsehood. And on the middle road you have the real, real, real. You are most likely to go from falsehood to the truth to the real, real, real. I wouldn't give you this lecture on, in real life, because you wouldn't get it. Like, you can't give this lecture, I don't know, you can't really give this kind of lecture to almost anybody. But I'm gonna upload this anyway. <laughs> I have, uh, like, I have confidence that there are people who can, like, kind of grasp what I'm going or, or going for over here. Okay, and by the way, I didn't fully learn this from any book. Mm, yeah, books kind of influenced me. So that's that. How didn't? Uh huh. Well, an hour and a half. Okay, let's go deeper. It's the number, but maybe are the only yeah. Let's let's talk about this. We see a rock and we can become like a rock. We hear a bird and we can become like a bird. When I got my fedora, and it had a feather in it, it was kind of like a suggestion, but be like a... <laughs> be like a bird. How do birds eat? You know, they fly in, usually birds fly in flocks, you know. You can think about like gangsters. Are gangsters like, are gangsters also like birds? Not all gangsters sing, but they are in the same way. In the way that they move in groups and belong in groups. It would be really nice, in, interesting to understand if, if a birds, the bird survival is um, um, helped by the, like the flocks they fly in, uh, the, the ought, they ought to be, but I don't know, who knows. Okay, and this, uh, the f funny thing about here is that uh, this helps you to belong in a group. And here is that you can't find this in a group. And here is that this doesn't help you to belong in a group and this doesn't help you to be
you can't find this in a group. But this might help you to form a group. Get it. So this is kind of this kind of this is kind of the this is God. This is the follower. This is the leader, you know? This is a leader, this is a follower, and this is God, you know? You know? This is the employee, this is the boss, and this is God, you know? This is the slave, this is the master, and this is God! Do you know? Do you get it? And the leader boss master wields the power of God. You know, if you think think about think about for example the Pope. Is the Pope a real real a real or a real 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 the current pope is most like the most likely a real real but the really the wield like the really wield the power of god you know i don't know if the pope is even self realized i don't know if he's even enlightened who fucking knows because you can create an image of a religion you know and you can place any fucking image, you know, bearer or a real real in there, and it won't it won't matter shit if the guy has any enlightenment, you know, in him. It won't matter shit because it's just a fucking image. The whole system is a fucking image, you know. Yeah, you get it. And here we have, here we are go going to going to also like dive, dive deeper into this like understand the female male. Um, you are a male or female on the real real level, but not on the real 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 level, and not on the. So there's a, there's a lot to be transcended from the real real. And you could say that when you ask somebody like what's your well, like what's your what's your goal in life very few people say transcendence of my boundaries you know transcendence of my Mortality, transcendence of my gender, you know. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's very it's very it's very funny. It's very funny, uh, but but not at the real 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 level. I want you to transcend the real real. It's great. It's well it's where life really is like. It's where life needs to go. It's awesome. Okay, so um, this is there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of information attached to this level of you, your name, birth. everything who you are in the system that you can be tracked and identified by. This thing don't have a name, age, 
or a PERT certificate. There's a lot that is there's a lot that is reinforcing this real real you you know the law enforcement for example is also not they are they are the law enforcement the law enforcement is reinforcing the law but it's also reinforcing the re, real real you know It's lying, you know, They're lying to you about who you are. That's the that's the truth. You have been lied to all your life. Like who you are is a lie. <sighs> like man, think about it. This is like the echo. So. This is something you create yourself, and this is something you choose for yourself, and this is something that no authority figure Say, this is based on your own authority. You know. This is who I'm going to make myself into. This is not fully integrative level. This is kind of like Swiss cheese. This kind of a self is kind of like Swiss cheese. There are holes in it. And through the holes, the light of God shines through. It's wisdom, you know. Deep fucking wisdom, you know. And this is God. We put this layer of selfhood in front of God and we get less light that is shown through. And then we put this layer Yeah. You have to be pretty brave to do this. You have to be pretty brave to do this layer on your selfhood. What happens next after this? What happens next after this? Is there a... Somewhere out there.
Yeah. Could you explain this idea through something? Very small. Some visual means. You could. Yeah, you could. Okay, this is very good. This is very good. Maybe this like kind of way of being in the world is maybe this kind of way of being in the world where you are trying to make something do something by just trying to understand how it is and works won't ever work. Because you have to understand that understanding is a pro understanding is a process in the mind that goes on at the same time as something else goes on. And if you're trying to understand something and the object of the understanding is for example a human being or a computer, the same process is going on in the other person but not on the computer. The computer doesn't understand you. You have to understand the computer. Do you get it? We have understanding not understanding, not misunderstanding, that's that's a different game. And then we have not understanding. And then we have these kind of situations, you know, this is like, it's like a situation where you have the computer. And this is this is you, you know. You are you are understanding being interacting with a computer that is not understanding, you know. I I think I think the I think uh, I think it like a, an autistic brain is closer to a computer in many ways in how it operates, you know. And maybe a computer even it's I'm gonna say this this might be this might be one of the this might be one of the the most important things that has been said in the whole history of mankind. <laughs> yeah. 
your computer might make your work your computer might make your brain work more like a computer works or a computer is or you could say your computer is making you more autistic but we can also for example with this program i have noticed that when i use this i become i became i become less autistic you know so a computer doesn't necessarily have to make you more more uh, autistic it might make you more uh, autistic okay so this is you and this computer this is the computer this is not, the computer doesn't understand you you have to understand the computer and then the question is how well do you understand the computer well that's you can go to a school they will teach you how to understand computers they won't teach you how to understand human beings or yourself there necessarily it might help you but they probably won't teach you that then there's self-understanding but all of this starts with the basic notion that I have no clue That's it. That's how I think. Thanks for watching.